I can hear you now, but I was not hearing you on Skype. Okay. Just please go on. Go on. Go on. Welcome to the So I'm, I'm coming out clear. You are. You are okay, coming out thank you. crystal clear. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Maze Chinedu. Good evening, dear friends, and good evening, the lovers of freedom. Um, I thank you all, all this evening. Actually, I did not plan to come on broadcast today. I do not know how the communication went out. People were that I made. I posted, people say that I'm coming on air. So many people called me and said, are you coming on? I said, no, even you. So, but I see that since there are people waiting who already got informed that I will be coming on air, then I decided to just come on air for these few minutes. My words are repeating. Your voice is coming, it's very crystal clear here. I don't know. It's not repeating on my system. On the app, everything is clear. Okay. Mm. Everything is clear, but it's repeating on my side. Anyway, um, um, dear friends and all the lovers of freedom, this evening, I would just want to touch only a few points um, based on the things that are happening in our land. My name is Mazi Chinas Samoru. Is from Obingwa. Obingwa is in Naba province. And I'm a member of the IPOD Directorate of State. And also representing the indigenous people of Biafra in the Middle East. This evening, I want to use this opportunity to thank all Biafrans, all Ambazonians, and all Oduduwas who participated in the Freedom March in Brussels, in our One Million Man March that just took place on 14th. 15th of June. Really, therefore, very proud of all of you who made that time, pay your hotels, pay tickets, and make sure that protest is a very successful one. It is one of the protests that people will never stop talking about during this our journey for freedom. Therefore, I thank every one of you that have that was, I mean, I thank everybody who attended that protest. I thank, I thank every, all the European reps, the mobilizing officers who did all they could to make sure that this two day protest went very well. And from the IPOB leadership that were present in that particular place, we thank every one of you. We got the message, the message was delivered, and I hope you all for a continuity in working for the restoration of Biafra. I also thank all the IPOB stewards, the Biafra stewards, who adhered to the instruction that was given on that day based on infiltrators and the Nigerian agents. Unfortunately, some of them did not want to hear. They think we were joking. And one of the Nigerian agents was caught in that particular place. There are also some infiltrators that was identified, that we identified, and some of them ran away. I, I've got a report about three or four of them. Somebody identified them as infiltrators, and they disappeared from the, the environment. But for the Nigerian agent, we, we, after the protest, we have got information that the Nigerian government is asking that the 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 thing seized from that their a, a agent should be returned to them, and they are making it very clear this evening. IPOB will never return that particular device. It is very very clear. Do not threat anybody. You know what is an international law. You know what is espionage. What that man committed is an espionage. He should thank himself and thank God that he was not harmed, that the IPOB steward, the Afrian was there, was able to, to identify him and seize the device he was using to record our people and transmitting the information where 
he thinks those are the people that we use the information he's transmitting to harm our people. We are making it very clear that particular device is now in the hands of the M branch department who will go to and see the communications and the things and all the plans you have made against our people. It is a warning that anytime their friends are gathering, we do not expect we do not expect any spy, any government agent, any infiltrator to come around where we are organizing our programs or handling our activities. Because if we lay our hands on you, you are seizing their properties, you are burning their properties, you have never paid for anyone. Therefore, those who are calling the IPOB coordinators, there is nothing concerning IPOB coordinators on this matter. That particular device or property is now in the hands of the Embraer department and we will go through it and see what is involved. We are not going to return it. We are nobody should threaten anybody because we send out this warning on that particular day and ask every infiltrator, any Nigerian agent to keep away from our program. And I believe you are a government, you are an institution, you know what espionage is. And you know the punishment for espionage. Cardinally, keep away from anywhere IPOB is organizing activities and programs. We are fighting for our freedom. We do not want infiltrators. We do not want Nigerian agents in anywhere we are doing our things. That is number one. Mazi, number two. Um, there is a video going around on social media. There are many misinterpretation and um, meanings read into it. But I want to use this evening to clarify their friends. I have been on this program several occasions, and I have informed our people one thing. We will not condone crimes and do not applaud those who are committing crimes in the name of ESF or in the name of IPOB. We have made it very clear through our writing, press release, through our radio programs, that IPOB do not support any criminal we do not support any kidnapper. We, we will not condone them, and we don't have anything to do with them. Also, those who are using the name of IPOB to commit crimes, we are not going to leave them. If we get them, justice will be done to them. But in this particular video that is circulating, do not applaud it. These are criminal gangs who are killing themselves for crimes of ransom, they have nothing to do with IPOB, they have nothing to do with ESN. You can see a lot of things happening in Biafra land. Please, Biafrans, be careful the news you applaud, be careful the news you don't applaud. What you saw there is two, two groups of criminals, those who claim to be ESN. They are killing themselves for ransom. They know what they are doing. But after committing all those crimes, they want to use the name of ESN. And this evening, I want to make it very public and make it very clear. There are criminal camps. There are criminal camps between the borders of Anambra and the Imo State. IPOB and ESN has nothing to do with these criminal groups. The one in Osi Hitoka, Osumohu, Lilu, Ihiala, and the other places which we are going to on Tuesday, I will be on air and I will name everything about that area. If you are among the people thinking that you are with ESN, thinking that you are part of ESN, they deceive you that they are ESN, you are on your own. IPOB and ESN has nothing to do with these criminals who spend time kidnapping and killing our people, who spend time snatching the cars of our people, who spend time committing all kinds of atrocities in the name of IPOB. They are not IPOB, and they will never be IPOB. In IPOB, let me make it very, very clear. Every member of the IPOB or ESN must have a family unit. There must be a family where you belong, even ESN, everybody in the ESN are recruited from the family, from the family, from the volunteers. 
every ESM officer have where he or she comes from. There must be a family unit. The people that run away from Imo State Prison, they are not IPOB ESM. They are the most of them are the people in that axis. They are now with some political talks. And those they invited outside their Afra land, those they invited, their criminal friends, they invited to come and help them. The government is just running around. They do not want to confront the criminals. And we are making it very clear that nobody, any criminal gang, you are committing any crime in the name of IPOB, we will come on this radio and we will expose you. We will make sure that people know who you are. Here in IPOB, we will not cover any evil. If you are part of IPOB family and you have started committing evil, we will come here and mention your name. You can only cry for a few days, but we are not going to condone any evil. That is something everybody must put. Put it down in your score. That IPOB will never protect you. You are an IPOB member. You say you ran away from IPOB and join autopilot or the infiltrators. When you go out there to commit crime and they catch you, tell them that you are an infiltrator or tell them that you are an autopilot. Do not start calling people, say you are IPOB. You was IPOB uh, in 2020. You was IPOB in 2021. Or the... No, you are not an IPOB member. We have respectable people in IPOB. If you look around IPOB, you will see there are all kinds of professions, doctors, professors, supporters, business uh, uh, captains, captains of business. I mean, all types of people are in IPOB. Businessmen, sports, athletes, every, you can mention them, evangelists, pastors, traditionalists. I mean, all kinds of people, respectable people are in IPOB. We cannot afford to dent their name or what they believe in because never in the history of this movement have anybody been instructed, never in the history of this movement have anybody been informed that you have to go and commit crime, you have to do this, you have to go and kidnap. It has never been done in IPOB and we will never do it because we have come to fight for our people and not against our people. Therefore, if you are an IPOB member, you feel or somebody deceives you that you are in ESN and in this ESN, you know that you are not in IPOB. You do not have a family unit. You do not know who your coordinator is. If anybody tell you he is ESN, ask that person who is your coordinator, where, which family zone do you belong to? This is a simple thing you can ask them. It's just like somebody said, I'm a member of IPOB. Uh, he said, my chairman, you ask him what is the name of your coordinator. He said, my chairman name like this. In IPOB, we don't answer chairman. We don't answer our president. What we answer is coordinators. So when you ask the ESM member, you say, who is your coordinator? Which family unit do you belong to? Because when he tells you this, it's very easy for the leadership to trace the person down to where he's, he belongs to. Criminals are always there. They are always there to take up any opportunity, any chance to commit crimes in the name of IPOB. That is why we are saying this evening, those who care to know or those who care to, who wants to understand what is happening, also the Ebubago in Imo State, they are crippled into Anambara presently. The Ebubago are also committing the same similar crimes. The Ebubago people are also kidnapping people. They are kidnapping their friends, asking them for ransom. If they don't pay, they kill them. The Bubago did today they have kidnapped one Igwe in Olo. Today a Bubago has kidnapped him. And as they have kidnapped him, people will be shouting, Oh, I is IPOB or no, it's a Bubago that kidnapped that traditional ruler, and they kidnapped him with more than ten other other people. So everything that you are hearing on social media, cardinally be very careful. Before you you start to claim, oh, these are people. No, we do not condone all these people. We do not want all these kind of criminals in our midst. We are not going to accommodate any criminal, especially the criminals that are hiding in our sumo. 
claiming that they are doing things in the name of IPOB and ESN. I want to make it clear that they do not belong to ESN. They are not part of this movement. We do not recognize them. We don't know who they are, who is controlling them, what they are doing. This is just a criminal gang killing and kidnapping our people. And it is our duty to inform the public we do not, we are not going to accommodate anything or we are not going to accept anything that will tarnish the image of this movement. Today, they kidnapped the Magnus Uchukwe Emeka Duribu at his palace in Uwama uh, Autonomous Community. Uwama Autonomous Community. They were kidnapped by a Bubago people and maybe up to 10 other people. They kidnapped them and this is how they will extort money from them when they fail to pay them. The next thing you will hear is that they will kill them. We know many people that Ebu Bago have picked up and killed and nobody is saying anything. Why we are saying all these things? ESN is doing their own job, which it is not something we are going to mention to the public. But our duty is to make sure we clean all those who are using, destroying the name of IPOB, destroying the name of... We are doing it in our own way and we are not going to explain it to anybody. Because we found out that the government, some devilish politicians, and some of these criminals answering ESN and the um, uh, fake, uh, fake ESN, all of them, they are all doing this thing for money. It is all about greed to make money and tarnish the image of IPOB. It is very, very important. Very, very important that everybody will understand what is happening between the United States and Anambara. There is no way IPOB will go where they are burying somebody and ask you to pay them. If not, you won't bury people. It doesn't happen. There is no way. There is no place IPOB will confront people. IPOB is taking care of people, burying people that they killed also. Most of our people killed, IPOB are burying them. So it is impossible for somebody to bury his loved ones. Then you will hear it is fake ESN that is going there. I ask all IPOB media warriors, go out there, defend this cause. We have nothing to hide. What we are doing is a genuine movement. Our hands are clean. Anybody planning evil against us, he will fall into that pit he's digging against for us. Finally, what I want to say this evening is our leader's case is coming up on 28-6-2022. We want every Biafran to be very, very careful. We know the tradition. If our leader is going to court, don't say they have not come and announced. Let us stop all these confusions. Last time people said, oh, uh, every day, any day, any day, our leader is going to court. There is always a seat at home. And we want everybody to be on alert. Every time he's going to court. It is, it is a must that we must sit at home in all the Afra land. And if, like what happened on 26th, we know that many people have traveled to Abuja, people who have traveled to Abuja before that date, they said he, he, um, uh, the court has been postponed or is the court was not going to sit that day. Please, if you get to Abuja, this is also part of the struggle. If the court is not sitting, cardinally return back to Abuja, cardinally return back to your destination, there is no need to make protests, nobody should push you, say because they didn't bring him to court, you started protesting Abuja please, do not do that if they say the court is not holding, you cardinally return back like most of you did the last time, if, and also always be on alert if they say the court will not hold also, we will alert the public but we are sure they have given 28th of August, uh, 28th of June, for the next court sitting, and that day will be a sit at home. Finally, I said it last time when I, I, I was on an on a, on a interactive program. IPOB leadership, under the, or IPOB leadership, under the command of Mazin Namdekano, officially, we are not asking, we do not have any official statement. I have gotten a lot of information in Enugu. People are complaining that uh, 
Mazi Chike Dozium did emergency broadcast and said everybody should go to take his PVC. Please discard this information. This is lies from the pit of hell. These are people who have they have devised another means to blackmail the leadership of IPOB. IPOB leadership did not ask anybody to go to take PVC. There is no official statement on this. And we are saying, the only thing we will tell you is this. For those of you who want to go to do politics, if you are IPOB principal officer, please step aside from the IPOB activities and go your way. Do not bring politics into what we are doing. We didn't come out for this struggle because of P2B. We didn't come out this because of PVC. We didn't come out for this struggle because we are looking for Igbo presidency. We did not come out of this because we are fighting for somebody from an Igbo extraction to become the president of Nigeria. That is not. Our people that have died, over 5 million people, did not die because of PVC. They didn't die because of Igbo presidency. Most of us are in exile today. It is not because of Igbo presidency. Most of us have been killed. It's not because of Igbo presidency. Many of us have destroyed our source of livelihood. It's not because of Igbo presidency. Please do not bring the politics of Igbo presidency into this Biafran struggle. And uh, finally, for those of you who are not IPOB members, who are supporters of IPOB, or who want to participate in Nigerian politics, kindly do not use the picture of Mazen Nandekano in any of your PVC campaign. This is a warning we are giving everybody. We don't have time to come and tell you. If you don't want our trouble, if anybody don't want our trouble, you are a politician, you are this, do not use the name of Mazen Nandekano or IPOB leadership in any of your political statements in any, if you don't want our trouble, we are making it very clear. What matters so much for us now is our leader, give us the date for a referendum, and make sure our people are secured, Fulanese are driven away from our land. One thing is this, we are not going to accommodate or are going to accept. In many years, they have killed our people because of politics using court people, all these things, and I, why? We are not doing any of this. Anybody, our people have been killed enough, our people have been displaced enough, our business has been destroyed. Anybody, because of politics, any politician, for his sake, our people are being killed, destroyed. We are not going to take it easy with that person. If you come, you want to do your politics, do it. But you see in Biafra land, if any of you, because of your political, uh, political tongue or this thing, and our people are killed, the things are destroyed, IPOB will place a ban on any political rally in our land. If you do not want our trouble, do your things, but do not cause insecurity in our land because we have enough insecurity in our land. If any politician, because of him, they start to curse and kill our people based on the insecurity we have at hand, we will place a ban on those people in order not to turn our land where people, politicians, will come and kill. If you are people from the court, they are using you people to kill our people because of political issues, we are not accepting it. We are making this thing very, very clear. Our people have been killed enough. Our duty is to secure our land and protect our people. Anybody coming in any form to kill our people, that time they will see the other side of IPOB and the ESA. Therefore, dear friends, this is only what I have to inform you this evening. I will be coming on an interactive program on 21st. That means on Tuesday, I'll be coming on an interactive program on Tuesday by 7 p.m., if you have your questions, if you have your doubts, if you have things that are disturbing you, please kindly put it together. I will be here on Mazi Chinedu's program on 21st. That is on Tuesday, June 7 p.m. Biafran time. And I will tell you, bless every Biafran. 
bless all of you those who have remained strong in this struggle those who have remained steadfast in this struggle those who have continued to support this movement those who at the end of the day you stood when this storm was raging when the enemies were coming from any side the battle is not yet over it is not yet over until our leader is released unconditionally until a date of referendum is given to us and Biafra is restored this journey is not going to end until we achieve those things the people can blab it is a matter of time the truth will always come out in open we have nothing to hide we have come to serve Biafra the IPOB leadership and all the principal officers around the world we are all dedicated our reasons is because Mazen and the Carlo called us and many of us we heard that call and we are here to serve our people to make sure that that promise that was given to them that we will restore Biafra that we will make it come to actualization thank you Mazi Chinedu bless you and bless all of you who have gathered this evening to listen to this gospel thank you thank you very much and remain blessed we must continue this is radio biafra house of service coming to you through the auspices of radio biafra london you had the voice of marzichina and Waru outlining things that we should know therefore we must continue 